Hi mga kabola, back to work na tapos na ang mahabang bakasyon. Kaya tayo, back to basketball na ulit. Nag-release ako ng video some days ago tungkol sa UAAP rookies. Maganda yung engagement, oh. ang daming comments. Hanggang ngayon nga, pumapasok pa rin. So, feeling ko yung iba nasayahan, yung iba uh, hindi nasayahan. Pero karamihan siguro nabitin kasi 15 players lang yung na-feature ko. So ngayon, mag-feature pa tayo ng more players. No? So, research tayo and kumuha pa tayo ng 12 more players na tingin natin mag create ng impact next season or season 86. Pero bago yan, sagutin ko lang yung mga comments na na-receive natin dun sa last video. No? Uh, hindi ko na sagutin lahat. I-generalize ko na lang kasi aros pare-pareho naman yung mga themes nung comments. So number one, bakit wala raw si ganyan? Bakit wala si itong player na to? Well, limited kasi yung time natin sa video. No? So hindi natin pwede i-feature lahat. Pero baka ngayon, itong 12 na ipapakita natin, baka nandito yung mga paborito nyo. So abangan nyo yun. Number two, Bakit puro feel-am daw? Hindi naman, hindi naman. Nagkataon lang itong batch ito marami mga galing na feel-am. Pero marami rin namang homegrown. No? So, try natin as much as possible to balance it. No? Again, dito sa next batch natin, uh, mix yan ng feel-am at locals. Ito nakakatawa. No? Baka UP raw ako. So, to be transparent, nasa uh, lista po ako. Pero, I'm also a student of the game. Meaning, pinapanood ko lahat ng games kasi para sa akin, UAP is the most exciting uh, basketball tournament sa, sa country natin. Even more than the pros. To. And itong recruitment is an interesting part of it kasi dito nakikita yung mga... Ang dami kasing mga galing ngayon eh. Tapos parang lahat ng schools nagre-recruit na. Hindi tulad dati na Kasalang, Ateneo. Ngayon, pati UP, UST, and the others, meron na rin mga pambato, no? both field arms and local. And last, ito marami talaga nagsabi, no? uh, na-bash pa nga tayo dito. No? Nasaan daw si Lebron, si Francis Lopez? Okay. Hindi ko talaga siya in-include sa last video kasi ang alam ko may pending eligibility uh, issue pa kay Lebron or kay Francis Lopez. So, dun sa mga hindi nakakaalam, si Francis Lopez po, nung pandemic, I think that's 2020? 2021. Nag-sign yan sa isang organization sa US, a pro league called Overtime Elite. So, what happened was nakuha na siya, may kontrata na, Pero hindi siya nakaalis kasi nagkaroon siya ng US visa problems. Hindi siya nakakuha ng visa. Okay. So ngayon, ang eligibility issue is pwede ba siya maglaro sa UAP? Uh, on one hand, kasi nag-sign nag, na, nag na siya ng pro-contract. Pag nag-sign ka ng pro-contract, hindi na kasi pwede eh. Pero sinasabi naman niya, hindi siya nakalaro. Okay. Another side to it is nabayaran siya eh ng kahit konti no so yung kontrata niya sa uh, overtime elite uh, as a player and as an endorser na balita nabayaran siya for the endorsement part not full pero some of it for his photos to be used sa uh, no advertisements nila no so yun ang issue kay ano kay uh, LeBron or kay Francis to so hindi natin alam Kaya magdi-decide pa ang UAP board dyan. Hindi ko alam kung meron na. I-correct nyo kung meron na. Pero magdi-decide pa ang UAP board dyan. And they have to be, ano, they have to be... Medyo mahirap na decision yan. Eh. Mahirap na decision yan. Wala kasing president case. Ngayon pa lang nagnyari yan. No? Kasi nga nagka-pandemic, nagkagulo, etc. Et so hopefully, makalaro. Kung makalaro siya, then ano yan? Candidate yan for Rookie of the Year. No? Ayan, nasagot ko na lahat ng mga comments nyo doon sa last video. Kung may mga questions pa kayo or comments, sige lang, padala nyo, padala nyo lang. 
sagutin niya natin yan uh, isa-isa doon sa sa chat. Pero wag na natin patagalin pa. Ito na ang next batch ng Rookies to Watch sa Season 86 ng UAAP. Like the last time, we start with the honorable mentions. And we have two in this batch. Jeremy Robinson, 6'2 guard from Hawaii and a son of former PB import, will play for La Salle. And Philam sharpshooter Ethan Galang will play for UE. Now, let's go to the top 10. Number 10, Renzo Componente, 6'2 Phil Am, who will play for FEU Tamaraus. Member of the Gilas youth team averaging 12 points and 4 rebounds in the FIBA U16 Asian Championship. Number 9, Bobby Mark Parks, 6'5 Phil Am, will play for any Bulldogs. Younger brother of Ray Ray, playing style is similar to his brother, a lefty combo guard. Number 8, Matthew Rubico, 5'11", from Lyceum, will play for DLSU Green Archers. He was the statistical points leader in the NCAA Juniors tournament. Next is J House, Jared Bahay, 5'9", from Ateneo de Cebu, who will play for UP. He's still in grade 12 and will be eligible next year, but he's the top high school player in the country. Number 6, Phil Canadian and Gabriel Ubusan, 6'4", will play for UST Growling Tigers. It's a wide body with a good shooting touch, perfect for the coaching system of Coach Pido. Number 5, 6'8", Kobe Dimasana, will play for Ateneo. Plays like Justin Baldazar and was a member of the Juniors Mythical Five. Number 4, Eli Ramos, 6'3", from the U.S., will play for Adamson Soaring Falcons, brother of Dwight. It's a smaller version but much quicker than his brother. Number 3, Chico Briones, 6'6", Phil Am, will play for UP Fighting Maroons. Son of former PBA shooting legend Luel Briones Sr., played in Cebu, before migrating to the U.S. and his game reminds us of Zaf Lucero. Number 2, Kai Gamber, 6'4 USA, will play for Ateneo, was a McDonald's All-American High School selection and was a U.S. Division I prospect. Traces his roots in Cagayan de Oro. Number 1, Pride of Pampanga, Jonel Policarpio, 6'5", formerly from Mapua, will play for La Salle, has a 6'10", wingspan, and can play 2, 3, and 4. 